This is Boxing Tickets NA. We are delighted to be joined with one of Ireland's newest professional boxers, Theo Allen. How are you, Theo? All good, all good. I, I know that you, you yourself had sort of said to me, um, you're sort of nervous sort of coming on, sort of first-time interviews. I guess that's the thing with you turning pro, the things like that, that you're, you're coming into new boundaries, sort of. I know yeah. when you're an amateur boxer and everything else, like you probably only really had to do interviews on certain occasions, but... I guess it's like anything, sort of, people need to get to know you, obviously, as, as who you are as a person, obviously, as you, as you embark on your professional journey. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the nerves are there. We'll, we'll soon get them out of you. Um, but I, I guess, Theo, like, like I always like to do with anybody, when I first, first bring them on, obviously have a chat with them, and sort of speak more on the background, sort of, you know, and how it all started, and obviously what's got you to this journey. So, like, at what age did you start boxing? You're 28 now. What age did you start boxing? Um, I started boxing when I was uh, 16, very late on. Um, trained for two years. I was nearly 18 before I had my first fight. It was, uh, I must, my, last, my last year of school um, uh, was middle or no, novices. Seniors, it was, they're actually they're actually doing. This, you're allowed to be a senior when you're seventeen that time, mm -hmm. so you are. So it was middles or not novice intermediates, and then a few months later, um, just before I turned eighteen, uh, three faced in Ulster novices as well, won them, and then just went on from there. So I have. Obviously, um, at sixteen, obviously, it's it's starting out obviously quite late. I guess you know the the, the yeah. thing that stands out straight away is obviously that experience. It's sort of a lot of other ones would have starting from the age of ten and things like that. What got you into boxing at sixteen? Like, was there a particular thing that got you involved? Was it just you enjoyed the sport? What was it got you involved? No, just um, the club was. We heard we heard that the club a club boxing club was opening up in Cookstown, and. Me and me and a few friends and said, "Fuck it, we'll we'll go and, we'll go and start it here for a crack, you know." Um, and like I, I would have never been a fighter or in the fighting. Like, well, my friends, they would have got in the face here and there, you know. But I, I was always the quiet one, so they weren't expecting me to stick at it. <laughs> so they weren't um, on I'm the first day. I was going to say, I'm guessing you're probably still the only one of your friends that are still boxing. Uh, I, I, now they're all coming to watch me ringside. <laughs> <laughs> so they are. But I, first day, they said, oh, you'll never stick at this, you'll never stick at this. And here I am now. <laughs> I'm about to make a professional debut in the, in the SSE, so. Uh, I guess it's one, of them, it's one of them things, isn't it, here in life, when someone says you, you aren't going to do something it only motivates you to do more. So in some ways, yeah. some ways your friends have shafted you by saying, you're not going to stick this out and you're going, I'm going to prove he's wrong and, and you're still here 12 years later. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, and now they're, all, now they're all coming to watch me. <laughs> I, well, I guess in some ways you're getting your money back from them, obviously after them, you know, sort of leaving you to your own devices, sort of the box by yourself. It's like, all right, well now... You can come and watch me fight. You are the reason why I'm here, so you need to come and support me. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I thank them for it. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, but they obviously now you turn professional as well. You know, it's you know, it's in years to come they'll always say, "Theo, we're the ones that got you involved in this." So whenever you're making good money out of this sport, we want percentages. Oh, I take I take them with me. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously starting out at sixteen, then you know, I guess you know. Do you always feel like you're playing catch up to everybody else? Like obviously I, having defeats and things like that, you sort of go on your banking as experience. Yeah, like what once once I started to know a wee bit more about boxing, you know, after being in the ring and stuff and spawn. After my first fight, I sort of knew right I needed to be a bit harder here to catch up with the ones around my age. And that was it. I had a couple of I had a bit I think eight novice fights, and then I was just straight on to senior because I, I never had any youth fights or junior fights or nothing. So it was just straight on to senior, and I knew myself I, I needed to train a lot harder to catch up. So yeah. that, 
did, did that does that motivate you inspire anymore they know that you have to work harder i guess sometimes there's a natural talent there but like you know at, at this stage now obviously i guess it's like a blank canvas again you're you're restarting from scratch you know like we've seen yeah. people get the same people become world champions with with next to no experience you know yeah you, yeah exactly exactly you sort of look at that now, and I know sometimes people look at the amateurs and go, like, it's all the experience, both the pros. Yeah, you see a lot of top, top class amateurs going in their pros and getting beat by boys that didn't have the same amateur pedigree as, as they would have. So it's a completely different game as well. I think I'd be fit to show how good I really am with the, with the pro pace and the style of fighting as well. It's... So, it's like chalk and cheese sometimes, isn't it? You, you, I guess you learn the, you learn the basics and everything else in, in amateur boxing, and then obviously you come to professional game. Like I spoke to obviously fighters, and they're going, I actually expect my first couple of fights to be like the amateurs, where it's it's phone box style, you know. Yeah. Whereas you obviously you'll have journeymen to start off, which is great because it adjusts you to the pro game. Yeah, definitely. So I just I just look forward to going in and. Showing, showing what I have. I, I, I think I'm good enough. Well, I know I'm good enough to do it, you know. Yeah. But it's just proving it now. Um, obviously, was, was it always an idea to go pro? Like 28, you know, like some people maybe look now at 28 and go, it's old for turning professional in boxing, I guess. Nowadays, we get so many people turn over at 17, 18 years of age. It nearly makes you feel like an old man in the sport. But like, you're, yeah, you're, you're, mature, you're mature as an adult, obviously. You've had to obviously do a lot of adult things now, so at that ex- that age, I guess yeah. it's a number, isn't it, really? Yeah, funny, that's what I was saying to my coaches there. Um, I, I'm thinking now it's the perfect time, because I was actually thinking about it over COVID, mm-hmm. over lockdown. But now when I look back, I still have a wee bit, a wee bit immature on it, you know. <laughs> Even though I was 24, I still... Very immature. So I think I think now is the right time. So the how did you but I've, 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 I've always thought I've been thinking about it from for about five years max probably. I was just chasing that um I was just think the amateur is looking to win an Irish title first before anything, you know. Yeah. Sure. No point waiting now, you know. How did you find obviously, you know, I guess COVID with, with everybody obviously COVID was very tough you know there was no boxing and there was very limited boxing even in professionals at times like did COVID sort of sort of make make these decisions they go you know what you can't keep chasing a dream of an Irish title as an amateur just turn over pro and there's more chance to probably get it in that way no not not even not even I still I, I still trained away during COVID in the gym on my own um I just still had that in my head, and you get an Irish head, and you get an Irish title. But now I, I, I lost, I lost the last Irish leads there. So I was like, "No, nah, fuck, it's time to go." And I can't wait, can't wait anymore. You it's, know, it's sort of timing sometimes, isn't it, in the sport? How yeah. did, the, how did this sort of, you know, you, you're saying to obviously Hammer Box and obviously Paddy McCrory, who you know sort of came away from the sport and come back and turned pro in 2017. Obviously, headline in Falls Park. Headlined and obviously in in America there recently as well. How did the re- relationship build with Polly there? Um, I just asked some um, different coaches for advice. Um, Mickey Junior ha- was a great help, so he was. So shout out to him. He's he's actually kept me right throughout the whole thing. Mickey Hawkins Senior gave me a bit of advice as well, and then. Um, D Walsh I went down and done a session with D um, and D advised me to talk to Potty as well so and then just went went on from there so I guess that, um, I was going to say I guess obviously Potty's been there and done it he sort of went from the small yeah. circuit up and, and headlined these big shows so sometimes you want someone that's been there and done it so they can they can guide you in the right path yeah um, Potty's a man like he's 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 went through it the hard way. He he didn't start his pro career until he he had his first fight when he was twenty nine as a pro. Uh, that was so early five now, so seven years. Twenty eight, twenty nine, yeah, so similar to yourself. Uh, 
yeah, so hopefully, hopefully you've had to do the same, get on the big shows. I guess that's the thing sometimes when you when your own manager, you know, is promoting you, has obviously been exactly in the same shoes as you have yourself. He obviously lost two years pretty much with COVID there as well. But if you can think of five or six years down the line, you could be headlining cards in America, sure. That'll all be yeah. worth it, won't it? Exactly. Exactly. That's that's the goal. Big fights, big, big, big money, hopefully. <laughs> that's, that's everybody's dream, isn't it? Um uh, every fighter's dream. The um obviously it's very hard in boxing. We all know that like what do you make of obviously, you know, I guess you're coming into the professional scene at a really good time. Obviously, I, I know that um obviously we were we were training and things in Holy Trinity. You got to be around close to um our newest world champion Anthony Kakachi, but what do you make obviously of Irish boxing as a whole as you're joining the sport? Oh, Irish boxing is booming right now. Like compared to ten years ago, like you've so 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 many good fighters. You know, you've got the likes of there's Pierce O'Leary there. Brilliant. Brilliant. Kevin Hines. Crocker. Sean McComb. Very unlucky there. So he was like Connor Quinn. I still think he will be world champion too. Mm-hmm. That was a very, very, very awkward fight. Um, very hard to judge. Because I didn't think, like, very hard to I thought the draw was a fair decision. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't judge it at all. Um, who else is there? And then you've like a lot of prospects. Well, there's Brandon McCarthy, six, 16, 17 time Irish champion mm-hmm. as well. You've Callum Bradley back in the scene. Very, very good fighter. Ian Bradley. So like the list, the list is actually endless. The obviously Tyrone's Tyrone's obviously in a big rise, and obviously I know that you, you obviously train and and coach and stuff there alongside Conrad. Like when you probably. Probably Conrad will probably be giving you good advice as well. Like when he I, was, yes, Conrad has been actually. When when, yes. he, when when he was turning over, they obviously know that you're turning over Irish boxing. The landscape obviously completely changed. It's nearly every month there's a show here, whereas he was having to go and fight in England and everywhere else. Like he's probably thinking to himself, he wishes he was probably ten years further on, like what you are now. Like, it was a lot harder to be a pro in Ireland when he when Conrad Conrad was pro. Even when Potty was pro as well, it was a lot harder. Like, there wasn't as many shows. So, like, now, now it's a perfect time. We show every couple, every month nearly. Yeah, I think it's what eight shows we've had in six months of this year so far. And, uh-huh. and it's only uh-huh. going to keep going. Um, what a place to make your debut as well. Obviously, the SSE Arena, you know, it's it's linked in so much history in this sport. Like, you know, you have your, your Frampton, your, your Burnett's, your Con- Michael Conlon, you know, the, I guess when you thought you were going to be making your debut, did you did you ever realise that you were going to be making it in the home of home of Irish boxing? No, I thought it was, it was going to be a wee small hall show. Probably would have thought like the Europa, the the hotel or something. Or no, definitely didn't think it was going to be the SSE. Or it going, I I thought it was going to be a broad somewhere as well. You know, but no, fuck, happy this can't complain about this here. You know what I mean? I guess the good thing for you as well is you're not going to be the only one making your debut on the card. There's five of these yeah. making your debut, so it's not like you're the only one that makes your debut and all the eyes and all the pressures on you. Like in some ways, probably does it add to it the fact that you have to stand out as one of five debutants on the card? They sort of get your name out there more. Not, no, not really. I haven't really thought about that. There, I just, I just want to. All I want to do is go in. And put in a good performance. Not really focused on anybody else, you know. Just, just on myself. So, so no, no pressure at all. And and just, obviously the, the professional setup. Then you're you're still going to obviously you're obviously going to be coached and trained obviously from Kickstown. Is that correct? Yes, yes. But I still do dog session up in Holy Trinity. So do all time if I get a bit of time to drive down for an extra session. Uh, I do, you know. So it's good that way. Um, Good relationship with the coaches there too, so it's all good, like. So, I guess like anything in this sport now, obviously the more eyes and the more ears that are in there that can only lead to good things. Obviously, you know, you'll probably sometimes you you get into the ring obviously on the third of August and you go, "What's going on?" You know, why have I gloves on? Am I fighting? You know, you nearly feel like you forgot <laughs> the basics of boxing, but it, it'll take you thirty seconds a minute to realize 
Oh, my uh, right? okay, I'm, I'm actually here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, what, what do you make? What do you make of the card? And obviously, third of August, like you've you've obviously two other hammer boxing fighters and on big fights yeah. in the card. Obviously, Jared Hughes fighting Rudy Farrell and Owen O'Neill fighting Dylan Moran. What do you make I'm, of the card in general? Like, could you imagine the card to make your debut on? Yeah, it's a, it's a very good card. Uh, interesting fights. There's the Jared Hughes and Rudy Farrell. You know what I mean? Them boys have built their up well. I can't wait to watch it. <laughs> that own own O'Neill and Del Moran's very interesting. So it is. I look forward to it. And then Kevin Hines is on co-main event as well. So can't can't love watching him. Can't wait can't wait to watch him. And look for the for the Tor McKenna fight because um you expect you expect fireworks when he's on. <laughs> so do. He always brings war. Um, uh, obviously the card's been shown in the zone all around the world. I'm not sure at this stage of the whole is, is card. The, is the, the ones making the is it shown the ones making the debut as well? Is it? As, as I was going to say, I'm not sure if the whole card will be shown in the zone or whether you know maybe the the ones before the main TV card maybe on YouTube or something like that. But you know, yeah. there's a potential. Obviously, he could you know be on a TV slot. You know, I guess it's whatever way the running order comes out. Like. You know, they think you could be streamed all around the world in your professional debut, I guess. You probably don't want to hear that because it, it'll only make you more nervous. Oh, no, no. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't think too much about it. Camera, cameras are not matter when you're in there, like, so, no. <laughs> obviously, the support in, in the Cookstown and Toronto area, like, are, are you surprised by, obviously, you know, how much traction uh, you sell on tickets-wise? I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. To be honest, I was, wasn't expecting it. Um, sponsors were playing in there, so they are. Um, ticket sales playing in as well. My, I think I'm going to have to order more, more tickets. I think. Um, can't believe, but it's not. It's not just Cookstown. It's all, all from around to Rome as well. You know, you have wee towns outside of Cookstown. You know, we villages outside of Cookstown. Like there's ones from every everywhere actually. Like it's more felt. I like two percent their way I said quick saying, you know what I mean? And then there's some from Belfast as well, a few mates from the clubs going down are buying tickets as well. Um but I it's, it's big, big, big crowd going now. It's it's something I've always noticed, obviously I've, I've seen obviously Callum and Tiernan and Conrad, uh Fergal, even Taylor McGoldrick and stuff in the past well. It, because there are probably not so many boxers from the area that People sometimes don't have a reason to sort of get behind a boxer and follow their career. And just picking this back up with Teo, uh, sadly Teo's phone decided to run out of battery. Um, I guess when, when obviously the nerves are thinking of doing an interview and everything else, you were thinking, Craig, I need phone battery. But we brought his charger in, we're back on. I think Teo was sort of saying that um, I'm not surprised with obviously the catchment area in Cookstown and Tyrone because I've seen... You know, Callum Bradley, Tiernan Bradley, Fergal McCrory, Conrad, even Taylor McGoldrick there in the past. They've all sold tickets and it's because he's on a catchment area, sometimes there's not a lot of fighters. So fans sometimes or friends and family just sit in the house and watch the boxing because nobody really have interest to go and watch. So you're giving them a reason all to get out of Tyrone and um and obviously the Cookstown area to come and support you on the third of August. Yeah. G- gives everybody a night out. <laughs> and they're all mad as well. Like I remember, I remember obviously Taylor, Taylor and Conrad both fought in the Devonish, and I think it was a stage. I, I think it was one of ta- Taylor's tables. I think when he obviously got the victory, I think the the drink went everywhere. The table was everywhere. They weren't fighting; they were just excited. Obviously, got the one. I I ex- ex- expect expect it to be like that. Probably a bit, probably a bit, bit, bit worse. <laughs> well, it's very good. <laughs> The, to be uh, honest. How, how are you finding that sort of you know you know I guess new love sort of in a way where you're where people's only just wishing you luck in the past where they're now parting with the hard earned money people sponsoring you coming involved like do you sort of still do you sort of still have to pinch yourself with the fact that so many people's getting behind your career? I I do actually because I, I wasn't expecting expecting it you know. I really wasn't. I, I knew I was going to get um, a lot of support, yes, but not not this much. So so I'm very grateful for it. So 
And it's only gonna yeah. grow it's only gonna grow for it's you as well. It's only gonna get bigger from here, yeah. Um obviously we've we've come to the end of a sort of interview now, I guess. You know, what what can people expect obviously turn over professional? Like obviously if you can explain obviously the style of sort of fighter you are, like what what can people expect from you? Um uh but a bit a bit of a mix. depends just depends what way the fight goes. I, I can I can I'm a I'm a good mover. You know, I I, I can sit down and trade punches too if I have to. I can fight as well. Um I so uh I'll, I'll not, I'll not know. depends who the opponent is and, and we'll see. I was gonna say I guess the best way for people to know is to buy a ticket or to tune in. You know, it's exactly. no point giving too much away. Exactly. Um, I, I meant to ask, what weight are you going to campaign at as a pro? Uh, super feather. Super feather. I guess yeah. you'll probably be just, just be above that. It'd be super feather title-wise, but obviously until you get the title, title sort of state, you'll probably be just above that. Yeah, just above it, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, make, make it handy enough. So, uh, And then with the, you get over 24 hours to re- rehydrate in the pros, so do that. <laughs> Something new for you in a way. Aye, far better. Better weighing in and fighting a few hours later. This is it. Um, better. But look, obviously, I'll thank you very much for your time. Obviously, that's the first one out of the way. That's the dreaded one out of the way. Um, obviously, a month today. Um, you obviously make a professional debut in the SSE arena. Um, we'll no doubt catch up with you on fight on fight week. Get another yeah. review with you before obviously it comes to fight night. So, um, but. But obviously, I want to thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you. Obviously, let me hear obviously a bit of your backstory. And say we'll obviously catch up with you in fight week in Belfast and, and, and roll on the debut. Yes, roll on the debut. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time. Not a problem, Teo. Take care. Thank you Thanks very much. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye.